So, wow, a 50 footer. From what people were commenting on the socials, they said it was a 50 foot Schaefer. Um, you have FWC here patrolling the waters, helping out, also guiding them in. And uh, it seems like it's high tide right now. So let's, let's check out what's going on. It's coming guys. It is coming. Oh boy. Interesting footage. This is going to be, uh, now one, once they bring it by, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, see everything. I could, I could only imagine the type of salvage this was out on the water. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I see salvages like this, I can actually, guys, from this distance, I can smell the charred remains of the boat. The, the wind is coming towards me and I'm already smelling uh, the smell of, of uh, fire. Um, but what I was gonna say is there's a channel on YouTube called the Menorcan Mullet and the host, his name is Andy. And uh, Andy has been following a cargo ship that capsized, um, I guess in one of their bays over there in Georgia. But uh, he's there every single day. Imagine me, what I'm doing right now, imagine me doing that every single day. Like he has uh, like documented history of that whole, you know, I don't, I don't know if you want to call it a chit show, but some, some might call it a chit show. But I can't wait to go over there and meet him and maybe get on his boat and see it for myself because it's an impressive sight. Wow, I could only imagine. All right, guys, so listen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna get this shot, and then I'm gonna run to where they're at, and uh, we'll see the whole process of what they do. Oh boy. Man, it smells like straight up fire, dude. That is nuts. And there it is, guys. Wow, imagine having to dock this beast. That is absolute monster mode right there. My goodness dude it is it is destroyed a hundred percent a hundred percent guys look at that wow that is nuts look at that thing man so that was it guys um, Phantom 500, it was called the Olivia. So, wow, this, this operator is a badass. Look at this guy. Where is he, where is he? Look at this guy, this guy is a beast. Wow, Tobo US has the whole team here. Wow, the whole entire team is here.
see how hard it is to dock this thing. Look at this, guys. One of the captains is getting on the boat. It's definitely interesting. There's a lot of wind. Wow, look at that. There's a crane. Oh, that's how he anchored it. Look at that, how crazy. You saw how he just anchored that? He lifted it up with a crane and he dropped it. This is impressive stuff, guys. We got the guys from Turbo US now gonna help out. Oh boy, he's coming in hot now. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, what a captain, dude. This is tight, guys. This is a tight, tight section. And like clockwork, bro. Wow, this guy's a beast. Such, such impressive stuff, guys. Wow, smash a like for that captain, man. That was impressive stuff here. Driving the Karen barge. So now it looks like they're gonna tie her up. That was crazy. Let's look at uh, let's look at the Olivia a little deeper. So it's crazy, huh? So he has control of the crane. Oh no, there's somebody inside the crane as well. Oh wow. Okay, now now it makes it. I thought he was controlling the crane from up there. So he's in communication via the radio with the crane guy, and that's when he dropped this here so it can anchor the barge the wind was trying to pull it the opposite direction really cool stuff guys look how tight this situation is here now it's good to see that they got that big old boat out of the bay because in Biscayne Bay look look he's gonna lift it up again he's gonna lift up watch watch See, let's see, let's see the anchor get pulled. Let's see how this works. Okay, so you have somebody working it. He unhooked it and uh, The crane is starting to move. Look at the charred remains on this thing, man. So a lot of you guys uh, saw it, and uh, Captain is a beast.
Looks like he's gonna adjust it some more, guys. Now, when I'll tell you that the uh, Tobo US presence here at, at Bayfront is deep, look at this. You hear them right now? They're on the radio. See, they're on the radio. But uh, this is it. This is absolutely crazy. All right, so let's go get back over there. They're moving the crane out a little bit. They did take advantage of high tide, guys, to make sure they had enough uh, to come in here with this big old barge. Look, if you guys ever come over here, you need a little bait or fuel when you come out of Bayfront. They also have a restaurant here kind of like Black Point. So if you need bait, ice, and all that stuff, you can come over here. And uh, all right, so they're, they're getting this one in there. Looks like they're gonna pick this one up now as well. slowly adjusting it, positioning it to where he wants to. So. See what he just told him? He can't, he can't let, there you go. His, his, his barge can't go in between the fenders. If not, he's gonna, he's gotta make sure he gets in there good enough. See, captain here comes out to uh, black one all the time as well. He's the one I always say, he don't mess around. He picks you up, drops you off, and get another one. So. All right, so look, look, look what's going on over here. See, the crane is pulling it all the way up. He's, he's picking it up, and look, it's adjusting it now. See? See how close? Did you see how close? Wow, talk about... Talk about an interesting job. Guys, I also did a very cool video on the Miami River. Oh! Look how he just dropped it. I did a cool video on the Miami River uh, showing how the team at Hempstead Marine operates the tugboats pulling giant cargo ships through the very narrow Miami River. I'll put that link on this video as well because it's that interesting, kind of like this. So if you like this type of content, definitely smash a like and subscribe to the channel. Wow, this is super cool. to the back is again. It's gonna do the same thing out back. Now, here, look at that.
So they were all night yesterday out on the water waiting for the, they didn't want to do this at night. They started yesterday around maybe two o'clock and, uh, and then they had the boat brought up and when they brought the boat up, they actually got it up all with the crane and all that good stuff, which is what you're seeing now. And uh, then they waited, they waited exactly where they were parked when we started this video. It's very, very cool stuff, man. Are they gonna bring it up again or what's going on now? They're measuring something. All right, so we're gonna definitely have to get the other camera to get the next shots because it looks like it looks like they're gonna probably start setting up the boat to remove it to bring a trailer so they can pull it on a trailer and then get it to I guess you know whatever dump close by or whatever investigation they have to do I don't know but uh, if whatever I end up finding out I'll let you guys know. What's up, Captain? So what's the what's the game plan? What are they gonna bring a trailer now? Yeah, they're yeah. gonna bring a trailer and transport it to the trailer. And, and put it on a trailer and then take it out. They're gonna dump that somewhere or do they have to do some type of investigation or? No, I don't know. I don't know where they're gonna take it. Well, Captain Lance, everybody was asking me at the boat ramp. Hey, did you hear about the boat that was on fire? Everybody. I guess the bow thruster caught fire. The bow thruster, that's that's probably what it's where it started. Guys, the bow thruster. This is impressive stuff for them to see. This is so cool. Yeah. Like them watching. I mean, that captain bringing this barge in here was impressive. Yeah. I mean, I freaked out. I see it. Isn't, isn't it so cool? All right, guys. Well, I let everybody kind of do their own thing because they're working. So they're moving this small barge. It's a wood barge, huh? Look at this. It's interesting how, I don't know if that's 100% wood or maybe the deck is not, but guys, think about it. That's all it takes to make a nice little boat. Look, how cool is that? And all you need is 9.9. .9. What a cool operation, man. It'd be even cooler right now to put it in the water. Man, the smell of the charred remains of that yacht there is intense, guys. When I tell you intense, like imagine going walking into a house. You ever walk into a house and it's just smells like straight up fire that's what this smells like um, it's bringing it down we got it down
they got their little shed on uh, on the barge so they can keep their uh, main gear out of the elements when they need it and uh, it looks like they got some poles there that they got to go ahead and deliver maybe to some plants or something. Um, it would be really cool if I can talk to the owner of this company. See these lines right here, guys? These are the lines, these are the straps right here that are under the boat that they're gonna use to raise the boat and uh, looks like they're 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 gonna adjust it again he's lifting it up yep so it looks like they're picking up anchor now again gonna do another adjustment See that over there? That is so cool, dude. Man, let me tell you. And you see how they're all in communication? They're all talking on the radio with the captain. Now it's the barge is moving a little bit. Look, they just raised it. Now let's see if he gets it in tighter here. It seems like he didn't want to get directly on the rails. But look at that, look at that. Just Slightly, look at that, look how he's cutting. And he just, he just told them in Spanish, suelta, suelta, that means let go, let go. And uh, they got him a little closer. And uh, we have uh, a crane that just came in, uh, a, a, a boat uh, trailer. So was it a chicho out on the water or what? You, a day you'll remember? <laughs> Crazy, huh? I said I got I had I had 50 people send me messages behind the scenes with like everything. Oh, this is, this is really nice, dude. Yeah, I bet. Well, it's not over yet. <laughs> no. And this crane barely lifted. Well, it it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It doesn't have any water in it, right? It shouldn't have as much water as it had yesterday. All right, guys, let me, let me get the other camera. All right, we're gonna get the other camera real quick. And, uh, and let's, let's get out of the way. And uh, I don't know, should we stay on this camera? This camera seems like it's working right. The other one have just a much better zoom. So. Alright guys, yeah, I'm gonna get on the other camera. Alright, give me a second. Let's go ahead and edit this. Alright, so we just got on the other camera. They just positioned the trailer. Let's see what happens now. Look at the the crane, the crane is moving closer to the boat. the crane operator in there. Imagine having to work in that tight of a space, huh? Look at these lines up here, guys.
I'll tell you what. A um, couple of things. The crane looks kind of small. Um, when you really compare it to the size of the boat. So, I don't know. Will it be sufficient? That is the question. I think so. All right. So somebody's starting to grab a, a line on the boat. He's moving the crane a little bit as well. It's a big, big uh, trailer. Tell you what, I'm glad the crane is facing that way. I was a little nervous of facing directly to where I'm at, even though I was aware of it. So I would have been, I would have been whooping out like the trash on a Monday. It's always interesting to see people that do daily stuff like that, how easy they make things happen. So Captain Lance just said a little while ago, if you guys weren't listening, that it seems like the bow thruster caught on fire and that's what uh, created the, the fire. It looks like it was a nice boat. I get they're getting the strap down now okay okay oh boy all right guys we're at a safe distance I want to be completely out of their way you know I could have been on the gimbal and all that stuff but uh, like I said I, I want to get out of their way I don't want to be in their way the captain I'm sorry the truck driver of the trailer that's gonna trailer this is making all the adjustments now that he has to make so that they can put the boat on this trailer. I always say, guys, there's no substitute for experience. There's actually boats coming in and out. Alright, so the crane is moving again. Let's see what they tied up. And guys, anything can happen here. These guys don't know that I was going to be here. But I knew that they were going to come back over here. Because they were positioned right in front of Bay front. So, And it's much easier to bring it in here than it will be to Black Point. Because here you have this open area, see, where you can do something this big. So in the event that there is something even bigger, they can still do it. Obviously you would need probably a bigger crane and which, uh, wow, this will be interesting if something goes on over here with that. Hope not, but anything's possible, guys.
captain of the crane. You hear him over the speaker system. is coming down. Looks like they're going to start doing something. You guys, I can piece I can piece the story together and make it much shorter. But you know, listen, I always think that uh, even if it's a small certain few that want to see everything, um, you can always fast forward or rewind depending on what you want to do, you know? There it is, coming up. Alright guys, it looks like it's going to be coming up soon. See, see what, what I was telling you that they're, they're using to hold it? So... basically all the guys at the barge working in conjunction making sure all the lines are are checked and all the straps and 
But if you see how, how many are coming, those chains, they're multiple. There's uh, four. We'll see when they start raising it and giving it a little bit of tension. They're on the radio now. He's talking to uh, the guy on the crane. And it looks like the barge operator is also on the side of the crane, right next to the crane operator. And they're also giving uh, instructions to make sure everything is, is good. It doesn't help guys that there's a, you know, good looking guy, 6'2", 225, shredded without his shirt, filming all this, you know? Knowing that, God forbid something happens, you're gonna be on the chit show. And uh, the world will remember you for messing it up now. These guys are pros. This, this doesn't happen, guys. And why I say the chit show, guys, that's a uh, boat ramp commentary that I do at, uh, local boat ramps and soon to be other boat ramps and, and uh, we just have fun with it so if you haven't ch checked out the chicho check out the chicho i'll try to put a link in the back of this video i do a lot of crazy stuff on the water and about boats and interesting stuff like this so. i'll warn you though i talk a lot of chit guys the operator just said on the speaker system he's coming up he's coming up he's coming up he's coming up guys oh boy wait for it oh my goodness this is interesting We got our uh, U.S. Coast Guard over there, passing through. Okay, so the straps that I thought below on the bottom weren't straps. It looks like they maybe put that there, so I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe to, to prevent it from moving or I don't know, I don't know. Comment below, guys. I thought the other ones were going to be a part of the actual lift itself. You know, I know they were going to put some straps, straps on it. All right, so now they have a second point that's coming from up top. If you see that, there's another line now. All right, so now they're gonna put some other points over here on the... Uh...
All right, he's starting to raise it. It's getting there, guys. Now look, look at, look at everything. How they have everything positioned. See that? guy doesn't get in front of me. Oh boy. That would have gotten scary. Scary! Imagine peak moment and we get shot killed. That would have been a nightmare, my friends. All right, I hear, I hear the crane moving already, guys. There's already, there's already tension. There's already tension in the lines. There's tension in the lines, there's tension in the air. Something was, something was said, and adjustments, and ju adjustments have been made. Maybe they're gonna, maybe they're gonna turn it in the air. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. The uh, truck operator is gonna go ahead and move the, the trailer some. coming up. All right guys, let's see what the hell is happening here. How crazy is it gonna be now we get shot killed by the, by the truck? All right, so he already, he already started raising the sun. Oh boy, there it goes. Oh no, we're gonna get shot killed, dude. You gotta be kidding me, bro. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta move the camera, guys. shot again but oh boy I am actually gonna adjust myself one more time gentlemen yep because I saw that coming hey, Alfred, you gotta move back. Okay. so they want me to move back a little bit so okay Okay. All right, guys. So, so they they want me to be safe. So I will get over here and uh, this is why I wanted to come on this camera, guys. Because, like I said, they're gonna max it out. All right, guys, this is it. They are going to max it out. They are going to max it out. It's up in the air. Now the problem or the situation is when they bring it forward. Um, so it's definitely here. So, so let's see if I have to run.
Let's see. Let's see how that crane looks with the weight. Oh my goodness, this is scary stuff, guys. Look at this guy, man. Wow. This is impressive, man. The crane is holding it up. Taking pictures here. All right, looks like the uh, boat, um, the, the truck operator is going to go ahead and, and start bringing the boat back. He's literally steering the rear of the boat. So they're talking, they're communicating right now. He's, you see this, this gentleman here on, on, on the trailer? He's giving him an idea of the distance he needs to move to, to have it fit on the trailer. These guys at Tobo US are, are, are straight up pros, man. If you haven't seen how these guys bring people in and out of Black Point, you guys gotta check out some of the chit show. All right, he's adjusting it back now. There it goes. There it goes. It's bringing it back. Wow, man, this is this is a pretty uh, epic moment for these guys. They've been working really hard on getting this out of Biscayne Bay. I think all of you guys should, you know, comment a, a, a thank you or something down below because guys, these are our waters over here in Biscayne Bay. It's important we keep our waters clean. Something's creating tension there. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but. It's definitely caught on something. Well, at this point, I mean, they can drop it, right? The truck operator is making sure that it can go lower where he has, and maybe he'll make some adjustments now. And uh, it should be fine. Oh, he's saying that the prop's got to be behind. Okay. So he's going to move forward a little bit. All right, so he's going to adjust it now. He's going to move the... Uh, he's got to go a little further back.
see he's, he's, he's starting to slowly move the crane to the rear where he needs it to be. Oh, stressful scenario, dude. Get a quick idea of what's happening here with the crane. Remember, all, all the all the the weight is still on the crane right now. They're bringing it and adjusting it back a little bit so those props clear the back of the trailer. And uh, I think they're getting there. They're almost there. And now that's it. That's the operator who's going to get back in the truck. Maybe go back just a little bit and then give the go so they can bring it down. Oh, oh boy, something happened there. Something happened there. Something happened there. Something happened there. What just happened, dude? So he's bringing it down. But, uh,. There he goes, he's, he's adjusting it right now. Those are scary moments, dude. So he's made a lot of adjustments on the trailer now that the boat is completely above the actual trailer. Boy, I'd be taking a chit. We still have this guy here helping adjust the bow of the boat. So think about it, there's a lot of people in play here right now, guys. All right, so they're pushing it slightly. Coming down, he said, coming down, get off, get off, coming down. Everybody clear. He's going down, guys. I wonder how fast he, it drops. Wow, everybody's waiting. Oh boy, something's squeaking there. What's going on? Okay. Very slow. He's bringing it down very gently. You hear that?
Looks like he's making a couple more adjustments and, and putting some blocks down before they completely go down. Wow, that's such a scary scenario right there, man. Wow. All right, so so it's it's slightly resting on some of them already. Like if you see here, let me zoom in so you guys can see. So all the weight is not on the crane anymore. Now it's it's a matter of adjustments. Uh, where is it? Right here, this one right here. Will give you an idea how it's already sitting on some parts of the trailer. So. All right, looks like the uh, truck driver is giving the go ahead to, to bring it fully down. Let's see what happens. guys well I'm gonna get a little bit more footage of uh, the inside uh, so you guys can check it out but uh, do me a favor smash that like that was absolutely amazing amazing uh, you guys that worked on this uh, it was it was impressive to watch and, and I want to thank you guys for all this crazy content that you guys allow me to film so let me go ahead and get a little closer before this uh, truck driver leaves and uh, I'll get with the gimbal now now that everything's gonna be safe so all right guys let's go let's get a little deeper let's get a little deeper now and now that it's safe we can well it's safer still not 100 percent safe but we can go ahead and get a little different perspective now and see everything that these guys are doing wow Look at this boat, dude. Hey, great job, fellas. It's crazy. What do you guys think? We, we maybe cut it from here, put 50, uh, 50 foot tubes on it, we make it a rigid inflatable. What do you guys think? I'm down. Wow. The Olivia becomes a rigid inflatable. It can happen. Hey, Captain, you got a dog. 
That's the barge captain right there. He was driving. I guess uh, the next challenge is to to get this uh, barge back out of here. What was that? That's right, baby. <laughs> this isn't as hard as the sunken Verado because I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Subscriber over there just recognized me filming. So they would use this boat kind of like uh, maybe like a utility boat out there. Also, if they got to go ahead and wave people down, get to them before they come to maybe some lines that they have in the water. Who knows? But it's kind of cool how they have it right here. And this is designed for that. It's all new to me, guys. Let's check out the... Uh, port side of the Olivia. And this thing? Yeah, I think right there. Big old tubes. Who's got a grind? You are impressive, sir. You are impressive. I'm filming for my YouTube channel called uh, Alfred Montaner on YouTube. I filmed the chill shit show. So if you type in if you type in Alfred Montaner on YouTube, Alfred you'll Montana? you'll see you'll see it. You did a, an awesome job. What's your name? Rodney. Rodney, dude, that was that was impressive stuff, man. Thanks. My subscribers are gonna freak out because what I saw you do was incredible. Great. So what happens now? You gotta go ahead and just uh, reverse it. So you you'll do that now? Yeah. Or, uh, okay. So you have to literally go straight and then turn it? Yeah, find an open space to make a... So you can't you can go in reverse out of here? No, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right. But can it be done if you had to or no? No, uh, it's easier to turn around. Lie to them, man. I just saw what you did out here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Rodney. Hey, thank you so much. Right What's the name of your company, of this company? Kearns Construction. Kearns Construction. And you guys, I'm assuming, do a lot of other work down here in Biscayne Bay? Key, Key West, Palm Beach, everything. So would this be considered a big job for you guys? We had bigger. We've, bigger, wow. He said we've had bigger. All right, well listen, I'll let you guys uh, continue working. Good job, man. You and your team did a good job. All right, guys. So, there it is, Captain Rodney. And uh, big shout out to Kearns uh, Construction. So they work. He said all the way Dade, all the way to the Keys. And uh, impressive stuff. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. All right, let me see if I can get this guy coming out. How's the channel going, bro? Hi, bro. Working, grinding, you know how it is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they got some really good content today. This is real cool stuff. Let's go see if we can catch this guy turning it. So, he's still anchored, but right now they're going to unanchor. And then he said he's going to turn the barge. Which I guess at that point we can make it a whole separate video, right? Let's see. Let me show you guys over here the ramps.
So the ramps over here at Bayfront have just been updated about a year ago, or maybe a little bit less than a year ago. So this marina is maybe about five miles, five miles south of the other uh, marina close by, which is Black Point. And then at that, the next one would be, uh, Ooh, and the keys really. See? Walk on to the chicho. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So now these are floating docks, which they weren't. And uh, every now and then you have a couple of bloop, 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 from, from this marina. So, wow. Look how far I am. I just walked over here, guys. And I could still smell the fire from the boat. Wait for it. I'm assuming at some point they're gonna update Black Point and the bo the Pole of Faith is gonna be taken out. And uh, it's gonna happen, you know, at some point, guys. But at least you guys can say that you, uh, you tasted uh, Black Point history, you know? 30 years from now, you'd be like, hey, I remember watching some crazy Cuban on YouTube. him coming now he's still anchored over there oh look at this Florida Fish and Wildlife So we'll get uh, we'll get the entire turn. The the boat is still g getting prepped up over here, and uh, I don't know. What an operation, huh? You'll see the, uh, the turnaround that's going to happen right now. Got some FWC also going to be launching out of here now. where the turn is going to happen. There's Captain Rodney. Wow, he's making it work.
And now uh, the guys from Tobo US will guide him out of here. Hey, keep on picking them up and dropping them off, baby. <laughs> Captain no play. He picks him up and he lets him go. All right, guys. Hey, listen, uh, towboat US, uh, I always comment, guys, when I'm doing the chit show, make sure you guys have insurance out on the water. And, uh, and that's basically having a towing service. So, you know, there's uh, not a, a link below, but I, I will highly recommend them. I've seen what they've done when I'm filming and definitely suggest, especially if you're a boater and you don't have it, you should get it. It's one of the first things you should have. And that's it, guys. Wow, what an epic day. There they go. The rest of the team is already out on the water. And, uh, wow. I feel like I'm on the tugboats again. Alfred Montaner! Alright guys, well listen up. I want to thank you guys for watching my channel. That was an amazing uh, recovery. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash a like for those guys. Tobo US, thank you guys for, uh, I guess, tipping me off that this was gonna happen. So I'm out of here. Alpha Mountain, making a scene as always. Check out my other videos. Look, the, click here, or whatever, all that crazy stuff. That was epic. I'm out of here, guys. Boop! I hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. We're out of here, guys. Alpha Mountain, making a scene as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, hey, I've been wanting to do a video about how to catch shrimp and take it to bait shops. You want to do it? Yeah, go ahead and do it. Let's do it, guys. One more. Let's go. Let's keep on working. <laughs> Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.